Hey guys, have I got something to share with you. This is the November Gratitude Project Journal. Well, let me start this over. This is uh, a November Gratitude Daily Journal that me and Miss Tanya built together. I made one like this and she made one like this. So you will see what how hers looks on her channel, which she is also doing released sharing with you today. And here is mine. And she taught me how to do this. This is what we did when she was down here visiting. And oh my gosh, I fell in love with doing it. It's so much fun. So anyway, here it is. It's, it's gonna be called our November Gratitude Journal. And it's a daily and we do I use some of the ribbon that we used to tie it up as my belly band? And here is some of this paper. Oh my gosh, we used Mod Podge to do this from a kit. Miss Tanya brought a, a, a ring bound kit down with her. And oh my gosh, y'all, look at this. Is this not beautiful? Look at the inside. And we mod, she showed me how to glue and Mod Podge this. And, and then we got vellum here. And inside here, oh, I tore that. I meant to put some water. I'm going to put some washi on that. Like I said, this is my first journal I've ever made. So she learned right before we left to put uh, washi on her vellum pieces to kind of protect the other stuff. So I've still got to do that. But anyway, so here's 30 days of gratitude. And each day, what smell are you grateful for? Number two, what technology are you grateful for? So every day, it gives me something for the first day through the 30th day to be grateful for and i just got some of these little words from heidi swap to use throughout while i'm doing it and so thinking of that what i did she has showed me her uh hers i got me one of these a uh, few uh polaroid instatax mini nine instant camera that gives you your instant picture they're not that expensive on amazon they're really nice you can buy them with the whole kit but i just bought the camera and i bought me a package of this film so this first page here was like a folder and we just put some uh paper back here and glued it on here i decorated we bought this some of this little eyelash trim from hobby lobby and we got this bees i believe here from michael's and and she brought some of this stuff with her and so i've got my 30 days of what to be grateful for to start right there in the first folder this is the back of the folder i just have some journaling cards to use throughout the month and i just used a piece of strip of paper i had left to kind of glue on top here with a scallop punch and some more paper and gooder paper. So this is day one. So here I got a pocket and this is the date, living the good life. So I can put a picture, journal on day one, what, what, what it corresponds to. And I just, oh, I just, I had so much fun y'all. It was so much fun. As you see, this is some of the ribbon like I used for my belly band, some stickers we had. This is day two. And again, I just put a simple card in there to uh, do day two with. And then day three, I got a little bit more creative with Tanya's help. And on this page, I used a little piece of sack. I got used some that Nuvo uh, mousse, uh, metallic mousse to put on to do it and the tag. So I've got a tag to put my picture on and write a little journal about it for what about what I was grateful for. Use some of that eyelash trim up there. I thought it came out so pretty. And then here is the next one. And I just put like a, this I used uh, some of the ribbon that we had got to make a little little spot down here and then make a pocket for this to go in. And life, uh, life is good with you around. And just for me to put my pictures on, put a picture around here and journal on that card. And then I just put some little tuck pocket right here to tuck something in with some more of the ribbon. And another most grateful for with little cups and a little tag that I just used some uh, some of Tim Holtz dies. Not dies, but little mini ink pads to go with and some of that ribbon. I love that plaid ribbon. It was my favorite. And then on this page, I just did like a little tuck page here and I glued down my favorite discovery today, which is something to put like a picture on that I can tuck a one of the journaling cards or whatever inside here. And then remember this, 
I thought that was just really simple and pretty. I can just put a picture and write something on it. And then this one, I put a tuck on the side here. And with a piece of washi, I washi that journaling card where I could put a picture and write something. And then we're on this day. Oh my gosh, look at it. I just, I had, y'all, I had so much fun with Miss Tanny and doing this. And just a journaling card and just decorating. What do you see hers? Oh my gosh, she is so talented. And then, then I used a pumpkin thing she brought. Just used some, some of that, uh, uh, distressed ink on it and decorated it made it a little tuck spot and then here goes to the next folder next section just decorated this folder I haven't got anything in it and here's the back of that folder and then here's another sheet of vellum and then we go into the uh, I was so proud look at this I love this and then here is just to the that one of those little sacks. I put some paper on use some of the uh, simply gilded of uh, washi on here Oh my gosh, beautiful. And then back here, I love this. Happy times. This brings me back to thinking of Thanksgiving. It happened when, a little journaling card. Just use some paper for like a belly, you know, a little belly band pocket here. Happy times. Sharon, thankful for a beautiful life. And a little card, tuck card there. And a journaling card there. And then another Worthy Pumpkin, I used some of that gold, Nouveau Gold metallic paste and some more of the ribbon that we got to use and just tucked in, made a, used two different types of journaling card to make this card and to make another card to put in there, one for a picture, one to maybe journal on. And, uh, and the paper kits we used, one was from uh, Off the Teak and one we picked up I believe it was at Hobby Lobby we picked up. In fact, here's what we had left out of one of them. And this one was the one from Hobby Lobby from the Paper Studio. And it was called uh, Haberdashery. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Glitter Craft Glossy Full. It had 60 sheets in it. It was just so beautiful. So we just had to get it. I love this paper. So we had a few sheets left out of it. And so that is, and the other one was an authentique, and I think we used all it. So anyway, so then the next day, this is some paper that we found. Actually, it's got, you see on the bind in here, we had left over a scrap, and we had found this on clearance at Michael's. And they had these leaves here that we, we got, this little bitty, <laughs> this little bitty envelope that you can tuck something in. And then I made this tag for uh, with some of the stickers that we had in one of the one of the paper packs, or some stickers that we had got with blessings together, harvest memories. And then here's another one. I made a little flip with a little tag down here. I got a little bit more creative here. And then a little little like a secretarial pocket there with pie cider meal. And then I made some of the little rivets, another little pocket with some of the ribbon that we got, and made, this is like a little sack that I could put some memories in there and put like a picture or whatever on it and tucked it in there with some ribbon. And I made a belly band here out of some paper, some glitter paper, cut out one of the roses off of, off of this big paper and just decorated it. And here's my journaling cards for it. I just, ah! And then here is, oh, y'all know how I love English Tea Garden, the mint and the pink colors together. So I um, used some of the ribbon to make me a belly band here. And I'll tag, got me some butter, sorry, got, got me some butterflies here. Cut out some of the uh, roses out of the big sheet of paper, uh, the, one of the pieces of paper that's like this butterfly. And used some of that uh, Nouveau Gold Mousse. And got me some different little... Uh, project cards here that I can pull out and then a big one here glued here that I can put a picture on and these I can always pull out and, and fill in what's happened that day for or my gratitude for that day rather and then here we go for this one I use just some glitter paper here for a pocket have me a silver leaf little journaling card this for like a place for a picture I have two more journaling cards in this tuck spot and let's see here. Let's come on. This is the vellum. So when you see the vellum, I know that goes to the next section. We made three sections out of it. And so here is the 
one of the other sections it says every leaf speaks less to me fluttering from the autumn tree and just i just kind of simply decorated this folder and this has got some journaling cards that i can use throughout this section or whatever section i want to use the back of this folder i use this recipe thing here with some more journaling cards to use throughout this section and then here's some vellum now we'll start on to the last of the days like i said there's 30 of these pages so for I can share a grateful thing for every day. And I just made a pocket out of this right here and some of this eyelash. Uh, I think they call it eyelash wash. It's like a belly band. And this uh, maple leaves and some flowers. And so in here, I've got me a little tag that I embellished with that Nouveau Mousse. And let's see here. I got me another little bitty tag. And another journaling card. And then I made this one. I got this one to put pictures on or whatever. So I'm ex I'm ex so excited to start this in November. And of course, part of November, I will be in Utah with Miss Tanya. And I am looking so forward to that. We're going to the Stampin' Up! On Stage event together. And then look at this one. This is I, this has to be one of my favorites. I don't know why, but it just is. And I had this washi tape that... Uh, don't worry, be happy, don't know, or don't know, worry, be happy. And it has them cooking, counting your blessing, cozy. I just loved it. And I had a little tuck spot there with the little girl feeding the chickens. And I got a tag there and a little, another little journaling card there. And then a recipe and two little, other little, and this is a little recipe card with the ribbon tied on it. So, ah! And then over here on this page is count your blessings. I just this I use, this was a journaling card, so I just put this use this as a tuck spot, and just some of these. Uh, this is some, from some sticker paper out of one of the I believe the other off the teak a pad that she had had a sticker page, and I just put that on there. Put me some journaling cards on here. Made me a couple other ones. Life is sh uh, is short. Be grateful and eat dessert. <laughs> And then just made some ribbon on the end of them. The beauty of autumn colors. And it's just so I can fill in and just just have some fun. And the eyelash uh, ribbon and some of the, the bling from Michael's. And then on this page, I used some of the ribbon to make another tuck spot. Some of the paper and the bling that we had and the flowers. And then I glued this one down for another tuck spot. It is, it is the sweet, simple things of life, which are real ones after all. And then in the, here are some favorite memories. And then this one's a blank one. Hello, Autumn. And then let's look at this bird. Is that not beautiful? And I put Autumn, the year's last loveliest smile. <laughs> and then I found this journal card, made a tuck spot, and you put some washi on it to decorate. Gather here with grateful hearts. And I may put this little sticker on this tag. And this place for a little picture on this, this tag. And just use some of the colors, because it was just like a plain colors. So I just used some uh, Tim. We both used some of the Tim Holtz uh, distressed inks and kind of inked them up to make them look a little, give them something, something. And then this is another page. I thought I just kind of kept this one, kind of used the eyelash trim and some of the bling, used some of the scrap, uh, scrap paper that we had. And then here's the tag I made with some more, uh, made the tag with the, uh, it was a plain tag. I kind of de decorated it up with a with an ink. Put a memo back here so I can put a date. Maybe you know something else. Maybe going off. I want to and picture or whatever. However, I want to decorate it. And then on this one, I put a belly band, a piece of paper, and I used some of the ribbon that we had here on top of it for this tuck spot. And then here I made one for memories and just a couple extra journaling cards in there, just just to have unforgettable pile on the leaves. And then this page, we're getting close to the end. Can you tell it's thick? And I just put, I used some of that uh, paper with the pink glitter roses, of course. And I used a scallop punch to give the scallop edge to the pocket. And this was just some extras that we found, like I think it was Michael's or Hobby Lobby for these. So I don't remember, but we just added just a little something, something to it. And this is one of those sacks. And I just used purple ink on it and a couple of journal cards in it. And lined it with my favorite ribbon and then this page i just used some of the scrap paper that i had 
and just put uh, some here, little arrow, and put a card here. And I made a use some scrap paper to go all the way around to make this corner on it in Paris because that's what that paper pad I showed you had some bling. Just, just use some stickers and have a couple of journaling cards in here that, to tuck right here. And my last page is this one. I thought it was just simple and pretty. I, I used the eyelash ribbon here with some bling down here. Another like secretarial pocket right here. I made a, a tag to go with it. Was this is some she found these at. I don't remember if it was Michael's or Hobby Lobby that she found these. But these little, looks like wood. And I got some of these stickers from, of leaves with my favorite ribbon and some yellow ribbon. And then another journaling card that says thankful in there. And then another sheet of vellum. We, had this, we left this vellum in here, as you can see, because this was Mod Podge. So the glue didn't get on that. So look at that. Is that not beautiful, y'all? I would have never thought of how to do this by myself, y'all. Oh, it, to me, it's just, we had such an amazing time making it together and talking and visiting and just getting to know each other. It was awesome. And so then when I close it up, I just use this ribbon as and tie it. And there we go. So in November, I will be opening it up. I'll be taking a picture each day of what uh, I'm supposed to take up whatever that gratitude is for that day and put it in here and it's going to be called a November Daily Grateful Journal. So I hope y'all enjoy these and be sure and check out uh, these. I'm telling y'all, sometimes I worry myself. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed Miss Tanya's a bit, uh, project share. Be sure and go check out her channel because look at her. She is way above me on, on, on creativity because this is my first one and she has done these for so long and she, uh, she's an, such an amazing person an amazing friend and i love you girl and i love you guys and i'll talk to you later bye